Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you the amazing thermal decomposition and reversible reaction of cobalt to chloride hexahydrate. Check this out. All we're using in this demonstration is a test tube, a Bunsen burner, cobalt to chloride hexahydrate, and a little bit of distilled water and a dropper. Begin by adding one gram of cobalt to chloride hexahydrate. You'll see it has kind of a pink luster to it. Next, turn on your Bunsen burner and start heating the crystals. You'll notice a color change. Right away, you'll start to see the crystals turning from that pink color to a blue color. Next, remove your heat. So at this point, you have anhydrous copper two chloride. And when we add water, we can reverse the reaction and go from that deep blue color to a more red pink color. Watch this. You'll start to see a change from blue back into that pink color as you reverse the reaction. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And once again, it's hydrated. Let's try the same reaction again. This time we'll use a white crucible so you can really see the pink color change to a blue. Here again, we're starting to heat our cobalt two chloride hexahydrate and you'll start to see it turn to a deep blue as it loses those water molecules. You can kind of see it turning colors right along here, along the edges. Let's see if the whole thing will turn blue. Oh, I can start to see a change. And then we'll see if we can reverse the reaction by adding water. Definitely more blue, look at that. Okay, now we're gonna start adding water and see what happens. We're gonna move our heat. And here's a little bit of water. Watch what happens. You can start seeing that red around the, the edges, kind of a pink color. We start to reverse the reaction. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Here's the balanced equation for this amazing reversible reaction that illustrates Le Chatelier's equilibrium principle. We start with reactants cobalt two chloride hexahydrate and heat. We have cobalt two chloride hexahydrate, that's the COCl2 6H2O. And when we add heat, we get the product cobalt two chloride COCl2 and six moles of water, that's the 6H2O. What's so amazing about this reaction is that when we add water, it shifts from that blue color back to the hexahydrate, the hydrated form of cobalt two chloride that's pink. And then as we heat it up, it loses those water molecules, it becomes anhydrous cobalt two chloride, and it shifts back to the blue color. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.